Good morning. This is the Reverend Julie Ann Lepp. It's such a pleasure to be with you this morning for our morning meditation for April 10th, 2022. Today we are thinking about our lessons from the earth. What are we learning from these times of spring and uh, the buds that are starting to come up in our gardens? I was so excited to see that we're starting to see blooms at you. You see, we have one of the early risers of spring, having that hot cement right next to our building. And I've been excited to see some crocuses peeping up here, as well as in my own home, Labyrinth Garden. What is it that you're seeing rise in your gardens or rise in your spirits in this time of spring? Yesterday, we saw the sun <laughs> after a week of cloudy skies, and it was amazing just how much our spirits can lift just with a little bit of sunshine and rays of hope. It helps us feel uh, connected and liberated. I know I prefer to go outside when it's definitely sunnier. So I invite you to find a candle or something to focus your intention around at this time for our meditation. and. Um, we will light it this morning uh, in the spirit of lessons that we learn from the earth. And uh, one of the things I really like about being a Unitarian Universalist is I'm invited to celebrate the seasons and the um, connection with the rest of life, the interdependent web of existence. So you can settle into your space, prepare for meditation. You can loosen your shoulders. If you feel like bringing a soft gaze, you can relax your jaw. Many times we tighten ourselves during the day or carry our shoulders up too high. You can roll your shoulders and relax into this time of quiet together. This is um, a reading from Life Prayers, and um, it's prayers around the world. This is um, from Pat Kozak. Rise up, child of earth. Let life rise up in you. Full term, newborn. Time enough in wondrous darkness. Echoed sounds of voices, stirrings, splashings of new life. Relinquish to mystery this one mystery. We yearn to know and will know again so much latent and still, still to rise until our rising lifts us to a depth that questions every truth that we've ever known, known. Mud stirred of first clay, plaything of a potter who fell in love with her hands work. Blessed be her handiwork. Blessed be the work of her hands, and blessed be. And so as we're looking at our candle or our focus object, we're reminded of our connection to earth, air, and fire, and water. You know, a lot of times in our air-conditioned or heated homes, we are separated from the elements sometimes, but when we can feel the power of the growing earth with our bare toes or the the warmth of a fire in our fireplace or in a fire pit, or maybe when we're cooking over a fire. And the wind that soothes our burnt skin and when we get sunburn. <laughs> and then water, cool water, where we can go swimming and clean ourselves and let things go. So when we think of the lessons of the earth, we have all these things to support us when we think about it, those elements of earth, air, water and fire. And sometimes people feel a connection, particularly with one or the other. You know, people who uh, are passionate sometimes say, well, I'm a fire person. <laughs> or people who are grounded sometimes claim earth as their symbol or their connection. And I know for myself, I tend to love water, that sense of being able to move around things, and yet the power of water to carve out canyons with slow, patient movement, healing rain, mother ocean, those are definitely my, <laughs> my connection to earth and the lessons that I can learn from that. 
So I invite you now into a time of quiet. I'm going to start our time of meditation off with um, a reading from Singing the Living Tradition, which is the UU um, main uh, hymn book and reading book. And this is Earth Teach Me, and it's from the Ute Indians of North America. Earth teach me stillness as the grasses are stilled with light. Earth teach me suffering as old stones suffer with memory. Earth teach me caring as pa parents who secure their young. Earth teach me courage as the tree which stands all alone. Earth teach me limitation as the ant which crawls on the ground. Earth teach me freedom as the eagle which soars in the sky. Earth teach me resignation as the leaves which die in the fall. Earth teach me regeneration as the seed which rises in the spring. Earth teach me to forget myself as melted snow forgets its life. Earth teach me to remember kindness as dry fields weep with rain. So now I invite you into a time of quiet. You can settle yourself, soften your gaze. We'll enter into a time of meditation. Taking a deep breath in and releasing. If you want, you can raise your hands. Taking a deep breath in and releasing. Thinking of what the earth can teach us, bringing in earth's calm spirit. Letting our breath and air take away our worries. Letting fire burn away that which we let go. And water to soothe our hearts, our minds. I invite you now to come back into this space having let go some of the things which you wish to let go, connected to earth, air, water, and fire. And another reading from Singing the Living Tradition is, My Help is in the Mountain. You know, we often look to ourselves or I don't know, to our computers to help us, but we can look to nature and to the world around us also. My help is in the mountain where I take myself to heal the earthly wounds that people give to me. 
I find a rock with sun on it, and a stream where the water runs gentle, and the trees which one by one give me company. So I must stay for a long time until I have grown from the rock, and the stream is running through me, and I cannot tell myself from one tall tree. Then I know that nothing touches me, nor makes me run away. My help is in the mountain, and that I take away with me. And I was uh, looking for um, inspiration uh, today for uh, lessons from the earth. And this is a view from the Mountain Retreat Center in Highlands, North Carolina. And uh, it's a lovely view from what they call Meditation Rock. You can see a couple states away. And I think that's probably one of my most holy spots that just really fills me up besides touching the ocean. You know, it's, it's a sense of serenity. The wind will come up off the um, trees and up the mountainside. And it just feels magical to sit there and listen to the trees and the wind just to feel exposed to those elements is very powerful. I invite you to extinguish your flame as you wish, if you wish, or if you need to keep it burning, that's okay too. I'm going to extinguish my flame now. But we'll carry these thoughts with us in the morning and in the coming week about what the earth can give to us. This morning at 10 o'clock, we have service in person and online. Um, it's going to be celebrating the source of uh, Judaism and Passover. And so we close with these words from Nancy Wood. Earth, cure me. Earth, receive my woe. Rock, strengthen me. Rock, receive my weakness. Rain, wash my sadness away rain receive my doubt. Sun make sweet my song, and sun receive the anger from my heart. Friends, I wish you a blessed morning and a blessed be to you. Namaste and have a great week and I hope to see you later at 10 a.m.